Hello, I'm Jamie Lee Salgatar and welcome to This Week in MedIT, your source for medical technology news brought to you by CNG Technologies. Today we are here at Northridge at Avita Medical to interview CEO William Dolphin who takes the saying, it grew once, it can grow again to the next level. Avita Medical is a regenerative medicine company. Our mission is to bring highly innovative, cost-effective uh, regenerative technologies to the market. And the key is that they address the needs of the major stakeholders, the patients, improved outcomes, the clinicians, easy technology that has terrific outcomes for the patients and for them, and then thirdly, the uh, healthcare system with the tremendous pressure on cost containment. Now, we have to be able to address those needs as well. Avita Medical was formed in uh, 2008. It's actually the merger of uh, two other companies from Australia where the technology was originally developed. Our flagship product is Resell Spray on Skin. And uh, it, it's really fairly really extraordinary. Essentially what we're able to do is harness the body's ability to heal itself and we package it into a small, easy to use bedside kit that is used by the surgeon in the treatment of a wide range of skin defects, injuries and other indications. Uh, we have started in the burn area and the primary issue there is people who are tremendously burned uh, have to go through a grafting procedure which is terribly painful, invasive, this has been now mostly eliminated. Other indications include uh, treatments such as vitiligo, dispigmentation, chronic wounds, uh, ulcers, hard to heal areas, and then all the way up to some of the aesthetic and cosmetic procedures, which would include things such as acne scarring or wrinkle revisions or rejuvenation. So really, it's able to address a wide range of indications. Resale has uh, really attracted tremendous media attention recently. It's a, a, a very, very attractive product and it certainly captures the imagination. We're able to treat serious conditions and in some cases really devastating injuries with a simple technique that simply takes some of your skin, it's resprayed on in place. So it really captures the imagination. Um, by going after a variety of different markets, again, we're hitting markets that include the acute wounds, all the way up to the cosmetic rejuvenation procedures. Unfortunately, the product is not currently available in the US. Uh, we are now undergoing US FDA trials. Uh, we have started a uh, project that is looking at the use of resell in burns, and we have just now announced a, a study that's underway with the FDA for the uh, treatment of scars, so the revision of scars. These studies are funded by the U.S. Department of Defense, which is a tremendous endorsement for us. Resale really has captured the imagination of anyone who knows about it. Of course, uh, it's not science fiction any longer. This is reality. There have been a number of stories, of course, about uh, spray on skin, applying and regrowing damaged tissue. This is, in fact, what we can do. It's not magic, but it's a remarkable technology that provides tremendous benefit to a wide range of people and significant benefit to the healthcare system. So we're delighted to be able to bring the product out and uh, we hope we will be through the FDA shortly and available to the U.S. as well. The underlying uh, concept really is that you grew it once, you can grow it again. Your body has the ability to grow skin. If you are wounded, if you have a cut, you can regrow this. And what we are able to do is capture and redirect that growth to cover a wound. So what we do, the process is really quite simple. We take a very small postage stamp sized piece of tissue, we put it through a proprietary processing unit. This is the resell spray on skin kit that is sold. And this tissue is then broken down through enzymatic and mechanical disaggregation. These live viable cells, which include stem cells as well as, as well as some of the mature skin cells, is then simply sprayed onto the wound, a dressing is applied, and five to seven days later, the epithelialization process has begun and you have new skin. Because it actually knows, I'll put that in quote, it knows what your skin should be, 
it regrows the normal skin for that region of your body. The skin on your face is very different than the skin on your thigh, for instance. Coloration, texture, vascularization, innervation. And because these cells are regrowing and signaling, communicating with each other, they regrow the proper normal healthy skin. The major difficulty we have and we anticipate is the acceptance of this real paradigm shift in the treatment of many of these conditions. Surgeons have been thoroughly trained on how to uh, treat a burn case, for instance using a graft with pressure bandages for ulcers, uh, using various dermabraders for some of the scar revision. And you know, I sometimes uh, joke, surgeons are, have learned how to cut and stitch and what we're now asking you to do is spray. And so it's a very, very different concept. It takes a certain leap of faith. We have an open wound and we're used to covering it. And what we say now is we're gonna take these cells, essentially invisible, spray them on, put a dressing on, and leave it alone. And the body takes care of itself. So it really takes a paradigm change, a rethinking about how and what we will do in treatment of these damage injuries. Currently, uh, the procedure is covered under several regulatory uh, and reimbursement codes in Europe. As part of a capitated system, hospitals right now are given a certain amount of money and so using resale it fits in. What we are demonstrating, and we have several medical economic studies that are underway, shows that resale saves a tremendous amount of money. Dressing changes, time in hospital, time to recovery. Further, uh, many patients who have grafts have to undergo extensive physical therapy, oftentimes uh, subsequent surgeries, and these are all eliminated. So tremendous savings in the short term as well as in the long term to the healthcare system. The, the product came out of the treatment of burns. The product actually was, um, the technology was developed by Dr. Fiona Wood and Maria Stoner down in Australia both burn surgeons. So our first place is in treatment of burns. However, the burns is a relatively small market, thank heavens. The much larger markets are the aesthetic cosmetic markets for scar revision, dispigmentation, uh, so the plastics reconstructive, and then into the very large and very serious problems associated with chronic lower leg ulcers, so diabetic and venous ulcers. And so those are markets that we will be addressing uh, quite promptly. We already are in Europe and we will be getting through the US FDA process. There's considerable information available to the public and to surgeons on uh, the company website www.avitamedical.com. We additionally have a web portal that uh, is about skin uh, diseases, defects and treatments, and that is uh, available at, here on my mug, www.resell.info. That's it for this edition of This Week in MedIT. We hope you are as excited as we are to see the future of resell technology hitting the U.S. markets. And don't forget, if you want to be featured on This Week in MedIT, email us at news at thisweekinmedit.tv. I am Jamie Lee Salgatar. Have a great week.